I have with me now in our Lagos studio, Ms. George Igbafe, a digital strategist in the studio to talk through the need for adopting data analytics skills in the corporate and business landscape. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show today. Thank you very, very kindly. I appreciate this honor. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Now, talking about how to work with big data, we have to improve on our level of uh, adoption. And that also means that we need human resource uh, capacities to fill in the current gaps that we have. How important is training and retraining in this field, especially as we are now redefining the global business space? Oh, this is a brilliant question because just last week I just had a training training people on GDPR, data analysis, business analysis, data, digital marketing, and project management office set up. So it's quite fascinating that I had 524 people register. And based on the insight from the data that I gathered, which has been analyzed, I'll be populating it and sharing it online today, 27% wanted knowledge in data analysis that's their goal they wanted to understand how to analyze how to mine data how to interpret data because they say data is a new oil is no more fuel that is the oil is data once you can understand data you can analyze you can interpret it you'll be able to make informed decisions. Mercy, now let's also take a look at the uncertainty we have in our climbs and even abroad as well. At the end of the day, we see the volatility in the oil prices. We are seeing it stabilize a little bit. We are looking at budget revision, downward revision at this point in time. Everyone is making forecasts. But at the end of the day, how do we utilize this sort of information skill to then have proper projection and then coming back to Nigeria where we are not necessarily big on data and we don't have enough of information how then do we change the narrative if we don't it means we're not going to progress or have development really we really can't progress and if you go to Nigerian Bureau of Statistics to get data you find data as old and dated back as 2017 which cannot help you. Real-time data helps you to make informed decisions. So for Nigeria, we're only speculating without data, without real data to help you make informed decisions. You can't make decisions that is going to benefit the people. But I think the disconnect is people are not competent. They are not savvy. They don't understand how to use data to make informed decisions. Neither do they understand how to analyze mm. data to get to the result of, OK, before we make projections, where are we today? What is our today? What is our We don't even know what our population is. We've exactly. So how do mm. you make informed? How do you make estimated value? You're going to always walk in the blind. I know what I've done in the last one week. I know what Nigeria, I mean, from the data set, it will shock you to say that from the 524 people that actually registered, 92% do not have a website. Mm. As basic as a website, but we are spending so much money and focusing so much on what really doesn't matter. How do we change that trajectory? It's important to be of skill. It's mm. important to actually have focus on what really matters so that you can be able to make a difference. And to be honest, what a data analyst earns today in Nigerian parlance or in the West today will blow your mind. All you need to do is to be of skill with that technical expertise to be able to make a difference. Talking about technical expertise, let's also look at the GDPR as well as the NDPR regulations and compliance as well. How are we supposed to work towards this uh, level of excellence if we want to develop? This is now beautiful. It's not enough to understand data. It's important to understand compliance because you can, what landed uh, Mike Zuckerberg in a lot of murky water last year is the fact that his data was exposed to uh, Brita uh, analytical, which we all know, which caused him to appear before Congress. Now, it's not enough to understand how to analyze data. You must understand compliance. You are allowed to get data but what you do with that data is very critical, especially now that the world is so connected. You have data of people from Europe, from America. You will be fined. You can be sued. 
And these are major issues. And it's beautiful because during the course of my one week training, I exposed people to GDPR. I had a DPO, a data protection certified officer at the highest level to train people on regulation, on compliance. And Nigeria, we have our own local NDPR that has to do with regulation. But the truth of the matter, we are so far removed, we are not so much aware with what really matter, how to apply that to Nigerian parlance. Mm. Thank you very much for your contribution on the breakfast show today. Those are quite uh, topical issues that we just have to address. We can no longer sweep it under the carpet. Mr. George Igbafe, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very show. kindly. I have with me in our Lagos studio, Mercy George Igbafe, a digital strategist in the studio to talk through the need for adopting data analytics in the corporate and business landscape. Now, let's start with talking through the perspective of Agile certification and how this brings to the practice of project management a level of flexibility and stronger sense of adoption in Nigeria. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here again. I really appreciate this. Being an Agilist, one of my vision is by the end of 2020, I would have raised over 500 women Agilists. As an Agile organization, I mean, you adopt fast, you learn fast, you test fast. The iterative process of Agility helps a lot of businesses structure. And based on the training that I just had last week, I know a lot of people and the beauty of it is, is the great deal that I've just signed up with a, with a foreign company, I don't want to mention names, and they're going to be giving because the goal is to produce a lot of Agilists in Africa, is to equally help you get to that journey in a faster process. And that's why we have a, a, tra a training coming up, which is a three month hands-on. It's not theory, it's hands-on. You're gonna be having one-on-one -on -one support in terms of learning agility. How does that help deliver product? How does that help deliver project? As an agile way of operating, you deliver minimum viable on an incremental basis and it has to do with mindset shift. There's no ignorance here. And I said earlier, somebody said to me, 92% don't have a website. That's the statistics. I'm going to upload it later today. And like you said, data is going to be driven, the, driving the world 28% by the year that you've mentioned. At the end of the day, if we are not woke to the reality of leveraging data, of working in an agile way of operating or pushing out product businesses as a project. You understand, even Project Management Institute has now launched an agile project management uh, training so that agility can be integrated into the way that they do uh, their, their processes, they train, and to the mindset of the people, because it has to do with the mindset. And talking about integration as well, how important would you say this is for the public sector as well as government mm. as a whole to also adopt uh, this agile strategy, incorporate data analytics and build on the science, which is so crucial at a point in time where we have to deal with uncertainties, both on the global front, locally and business wise generally you know when when we speak of agile it will look like it's such a big fuss or it's such a big deal it's going to be very technical ghana for instance adopted agile way of operating to their system especially targeting the police department in ghana so you know for instance uh, a nigerian police parading criminals is against gdpr rule you can sue them Though you're a criminal, you can take them to court. So there are certain things that must be done the right way, understanding their regulation, their strategies, their, their structures, because operating an agile structure for organization, you achieve faster results. And it has to do with people with the technical skills. And in Nigeria, there's a massive gap. There's a massive gap in learning GDPR, learning business analysis, learning data sciences, being able to interpret data. Nigeria is sitting on data. Why did Jeff Bezos come to Nigeria? Why did Mike Zuckerberg come to Nigeria? Why did Jeff, the MD of Twitter, come to Nigeria? Why did Jack Ma of Alibaba come to Nigeria? It's because we have the numbers, but we don't know how to use this number to our own advantage. And it's so unfortunate. I mean, to take you on a bit of a digression, yesterday on Google Insight, you know what Nigerians are looking for in terms of Google search? That houses 95.5% data, the world's content. They are looking for Nokia Pro. 
They know we are consumers. They come here, leverage on our number to sell their product. Why are we not learning the skills to be able to make a lot of difference? And talking about learning all of these vital skills at this point in time, how now do we correct the narrative? Some think, well, it's a little too late to learn data analytics, to go agile and incorporate these in, in, in their corporate or business entities. It's not too late at all. Like I said, when I came to your view the other day, I said my journey into being in the tech space started 2018. I went for my daughter's wedding. I didn't have money to pay for my daughter's bill. And my friend just said, Mercy, I've seen your grit. I've seen your tenacity, Olive. And said, Mercy, I think and I believe strongly that if you follow this path, that you will change your life. And today, within 2018 today, the kind of produce, are produ I mean, people that are mentored to secure job in the UK, in the US, is unprecedented. And I support people hands on one-on-one -on -one mentoring to be able to help you, to guide you, so that you can achieve results. So training is not too late and the scope is wide enough to accommodate everyone. Thank you very much for your contribution on The Breakfast Show today. Mercy, George Abafi, a thank digital you. strategist. We have, thank you very much.